What's going on guys? My name is Ryan Snod. It rhymes with odd and welcome to another video. If you're new here, I help people with video, marketing, and social media. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking down how to start and grow an email list from scratch using free tools on the internet. Email is dead. No one buys through email anymore. I don't have the time for email. And the list goes on and on. There's so many great benefits to having a really strong email list that you can call on and try and sell directly to with warm prospects that are interested in your business and what you offer. The first benefit of having an email list is that you own it. So no matter what happens in your business, you will always have those email addresses to call on. A lot of people lean on social media metrics as followers or subscribers as kind of a means of direct access to their customers. But the truth is, is that those platforms own those people and own that audience. The second benefit is that it has a direct personal line of communication to a prospect or a customer that is interested in what you do. That direct line of contact is great because you can market to them with marketing emails. You can send them sales offers. You can send them discounts on whatever you're doing with your service or your product. The third benefit is that you can directly sell to these people and more people are more inclined to buy through a direct email if it is more personalized and they have built a relationship with you over a short period of time. And you can track all the analytics so you know if somebody clicked on a link in this email, they went on to buy, you can track all that stuff through any type of email software that you're using. The fourth benefit of having a good email list is that you can continue to keep in front of current customers and keep them warm and educated on what you're doing in your business or with your marketing efforts over time. Now to collect an email list and grow it and continue to have a way to email people directly, you're gonna have to use a software tool. There are so many email software tools out there including MailChimp, HubSpot, Aweber, ActiveCampaign, Infusionsoft. I would recommend starting with a free account on either MailChimp or HubSpot CRM free. And there are a lot of basic functions that you'll have access to, including starting and growing a list, managing your audiences, sending automated emails, and also building landing pages. Now, a quick question for you is if you're watching this video and you are currently using one of those softwares or one that I did not mention, make sure to drop them in the comment section below and tell everybody what you like about it and what you dislike about using whatever software you use. In the rest of this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use MailChimp specifically to grow that email list using their free plan so you don't have to pay any money at all. You can just start building an email list from scratch. So number one is knowing your audience and knowing them well. So you wanna know their problems, their fears, what they wanna know more about and what they're very curious about. Just think about all the different things that people ask you about on a monthly or weekly basis and just think about the stuff that keeps coming up. What do people keep asking you about because they probably consider you a subject matter expert in that area. So once you know who your audience is, the second step is to build an offer or a freebie that's going to attract those people in that audience. Now this is where it gets fun because you can get really creative on how you deliver this freebie or what the freebie actually is. There are free trainings, webinars, eBooks, white papers, PDF downloads, digital assets like Lightroom presets or LUTs for your videos, Excel templates, email templates. I mean, there are just so many different options out there in terms of what your deliverable could be. So two power tips for this one is to make sure that it is something that is electronically deliverable. And the second power tip is to make sure that you over deliver on the value of whatever your freebie is. Really, really understand your audience and what type of free offer can help them as much as possible. And for my core audience, it's a lot of videographers that are trying to start a business. So I do a lot of free business trainings, free guides, email downloads, and a bunch of stuff like that for people that are in that beginning stage of trying to start and grow their own freelance business. And I'll make sure to put my top performing opt-ins down in the description box so you can check them out. The highest performing opt-in that I do have is my free email templates that are kind of a script for people to reach out to cold prospects as a videographer. The second one would be my 50 minute free webinar training that I teach the nine biggest mistakes of solo videography. That's been really helpful because it's a really in-depth training. And then the third has been my business checklist for videographers so they have kind of a better understanding of what it's gonna to take to start their own business. I've also tested a couple different things like script writing templates for actually pre-producing your videos and a bunch of other stuff along the way. So as you can see, all of my offers are based around that core audience of beginner videographers that are trying to start a business. Really hone in on who you're trying to target and what kind of value you're gonna give them with this opt-in. So now that we know who we're trying to target, we've built an offer or an opt-in or a freebie to offer to these people. Now we're gonna go into MailChimp and we're gonna build out the rest of this process. So step three is to create a MailChimp account and build a custom audience. So you're gonna to go to MailChimp.com and then up here on the right hand side, you're gonna to go to sign up for free. Since I already have an account, I'm going to log in. So you'll go up here on the top and hit audience. And I've maxed out my audiences thus far, but you'd go over to this area and hit create an audience. So basically it'll be an empty address book similar to this, but without names in it because you just started it. 
And then when you have opt-ins come in through this form, you're gonna have it uh, populate here in this area where you can directly email people and see who it is that signed up for your form. So once you've built your audience, then you wanna go in and build a landing page for people to be directed to, to download your offer. MailChimp has free landing pages that you can use with your account, which is great. My biggest advice would be to keep your landing page very simple in design. Don't try and overthink it and make sure that the main call to action is that they download the free thing and give you the information that you want so you can send it to them. So we're gonna go up to the left hand side here and hit create and landing page. Name it whatever you'd like and then select the audience that you just created and hit begin. MailChimp is merciful and gives you some different templates that you can start with. I usually just do the lead generation one because it's very simple. So for this wild country template, there's gonna be the main title, an email address, and then subscribe. I usually have first name and email at least, sometimes first name, last name, email, but with the more forms that you put in this little box here, the less likely it's gonna be that somebody's gonna opt in. So make it really simple and try and make sure that there are very minimal uh, forms they have to fill out. The template comes down here and there's a lot more things you can have fill out. I usually just delete all these elements though. So you just hover over it and hit the trash can and hit delete and just crunch it as down as much as you possibly can. So eventually what you'll have is all this stuff will be deleted and you're just gonna have this top section as a landing page to make it really, really simple for people to sign up. Now this is pretty bare bones, I will admit. This is one of the first ones that I did, but try and go along these lines when you're first starting out. Just keep it super simple. If people come to that page, make sure they know what they're gonna get and then just make it really easy for them to sign up for it. So here's another simple one that I did. Uh, logo up top, big banner image. Very simple script writing templates for your next gig and it's right there. Now I will I will preface this with somebody had gotten to this landing page after watching me talk about script writing templates for about 12 minutes in a YouTube video. So that's why I keep it super simple because if they do come to this point, they are very interested in um, opting in and getting the actual scripts. So after you had the landing page designed, you wanna set up an email automation that goes to that person so when they fill out the form on that page, they get an automated email with your freebie included in it. So to do this, you wanna to go to campaigns, email, and automation. And then you can choose between when emails are tagged to welcome new subscribers, say happy birthday or whatever it is. If this is the only automation that's coming out of this list, you can just do welcome new subscribers and then pick your audience. Design an email from scratch from there. Before you go into designing the email, make sure that you set the trigger to set immediately when somebody is added to this list. So once they fill that form out, they will get this email immediately. So once you have the landing page set up, the email automation, the next step is to go in and test all the different stages of this to make sure that your links are working, making sure that your downloadable is getting to them properly, and trying to work out any of the bugs that happen. I did not take this step very seriously when I first started doing this, and I had a bunch of people dropping comments on my YouTube videos saying, Ryan, your links aren't working, or the download hasn't come to me, or it's been a couple days and I haven't gotten the emails. Make sure to test it and make sure to understand all the bugs and kinks before you start sending traffic to it. And the seventh and final step in this process is to begin sending traffic to it. So this can come from a variety of places depending on what you do on the internet, but it can include YouTube videos, your blog, your website, social media, um, news articles, podcasts. I mean, there's just a slew of ways that you can connect this to people. You'd be really surprised on what you can do just by putting this in your description box, in your Instagram bio, or on your website. Um, I think right now I get about 10 to 20 people a day that are downloading things from my opt-ins, and uh, it's really great to just have that completely automated using a process very similar to this. So hopefully this gives you a little bit more information about how to start and grow your own email list and use it as a business asset for yourself as you continue to grow your audience. Now, if you wanna learn more about the business side of freelancing and how to grow your own business from scratch, I have a downloadable down in the description box that'll help you do just that. It's the business videography checklist. See what I did there? Okay, you guys are gonna be great email marketers now and I hope you guys got a lot of value from this video. That about does it for me, guys. My name is Ryan Snod. It rhymes with odd, helping you grow your brand with video marketing and social media. And I'm out. Peace. Are you a videographer that hates the business side of freelancing? Most people spend the majority of their time learning about the cinematography, the lighting, and the camera gear, rather than the business skills it takes to land new projects that pay. 
And that's why I've spent the last two years creating a program that's going to teach you how to start and grow your own successful solo videography business. It's called Solo Video Pro. Solo Video Pro takes out all the guesswork in starting your own business, teaching you how to get off the ground, start an LLC, market yourself using social media, tactics on selling, and strategies for scaling your business when you need to start hiring out help like editors, setting up monthly retainers, putting contracts in place so you don't get sued. All the business stuff that would take you years for you to learn has been compressed and organized in a very easy to follow format. If you want instant access to the 40 lessons plus bonus content like industry scouting reports, email templates, mock contracts, and a bunch of other great stuff just like that, click the link around this video to join and we'll see you on the inside.